Linda. Welcome back, one and all, to the review series on YouTube that matters most, and that is Monkey in Review. Whether the weather be weathered for furry friends across our genetic branches or not, we'll be here to review the best and brightest among us. Today's primate for your consideration is the illustriously talented Crystal the Monkey. Crystal, born May 6, 1994, is a female capuchin monkey and animal actress, acquired in Florida and trained by Birds and Animals Unlimited. Crystal was given to one trainer, Thomas Gunderson. Hi, I'm Tom Gunderson and this is Crystal, and you're watching AOL Paw Nation. An employee who had only been with the company for a few years. Three monkeys were purchased, and Crystal, the oldest and thought to be the weakest link, was given to him. However, she seemed to show an incredible willingness to learn commands. Profiles have been done on Crystal, such as one from New York Magazine's Benjamin Wallace, who wrote, It was like she was born to perform. Most know Crystal from her transformative roles in The Night at the Museum movies and as a drug dealer in The Hangover Part 2 and 3. However, it may surprise you to know that her acting career began as a baby monkey in Disney's 1997 film George of the Jungle. She has since gone on from project to project, solidifying her name in Hollywood as a top-tier actress for hire. Her most recent role as of recording is a 2019 Bollywood film called Total Damal, where she plays a security guard. Now, for those of you watching whom are as yet impressed by Ms. Crystal's acting portfolio, Allow me to correct your emotional response. Crystal has also been in Dr. Doolittle 1 and 2, American Pie, Malcolm in the Middle, Garfield the Movie, Fun with Dick and Jane, Failure to Launch, 310 to Yuma, The Show Community, and The Big Bang Theory. She also had a leading role in a sitcom series called Animal Practice. Now, it's important to note just how she came to such heights. Gunderson and Crystal worked together for eight years at the Animal Actor Stage Show. Because the show was used by pyrotechnics and with a noisy, cheering audience, Gunderson said it was a boot camp and a great way for a monkey to grow up and become habituated for this kind of environment. Unlike the majority of monkeys who were bothered by high volume music and children, Crystal was remarkably mature. Rather than destroy stuffed animals, as other monkeys would do, she preferred to groom herself and work the levers of a child's activity center. Now, while I've done nothing but glow crystal in admiration this whole time, it's also important to show every side of monkeys in review, and crystal had a diva side to her. Actors such as Ben Stiller and Robin Williams have had nothing but negative things to say about working with her. Quote, she pretended not to know me on the first day of shooting, recalled Hangover Part 2 co-star Bradley Cooper, even though we worked together on Failure to Launch. So, just like humans, Crystal the Monkey has had her own seductions of power and fame. Now, as it sits, she's a spry 27-year-old capuchin, living her best life. Capuchin monkeys in their natural habitat of South America have a life expectancy of 15 to 25 years although those in captivity can live to be 50 years old. With this in mind, let's all give Crystal a round of applause for all the art she has given us throughout the years. May her career be one that matures like fine wine. Now one final note worth mentioning. The general ethics of primates in film is a negative one. Just because we see them smiling all the time does not mean they are always happy. The case with most primates, especially chimps, are that they get used and abused until they can't be controlled anymore and are abandoned to sanctuaries. In Crystal's case, however, she lives to this day in a loving relationship with Tom and his wife, finding multiple roles that find her success. But she is the exception in this case. And so with that, residents of Primate Nation, I shall say, sleep well fellow primates, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.